This is June 13th, 2021, Sunday, right? Um, this is on, on Friday, I dove into a pool and broke my neck playing with some friends in my backyard. Whenever I uh, dove in, I, I hit my head on the bottom and immediately lost all sensation and everything below the neck. I was under the water and unable to pull myself out. I was by some miracle able to get my head above water and ask for help. Uh, before it was too late, my friends were able to pull me out of the water and drug me out of the pool and laid me there. Um, Whenever I was laying there, I couldn't feel anything below my neck, and whenever I looked down, I could see my right leg kicking. Without my consent, I had no control over it. It was a very scary time. I, I really didn't know what the future would hold for that, but uh, in the moment, I, I, I tried to keep calm, trying to keep cool, and... I told my friends to dial 911 and they did so. I told my friends to uh, keep talking to me so I didn't go into shock. And these are all things I knew to do because of my brother, actually. I thought to myself I would try and just do what he would do in the situation if he was watching over me. Um, then I uh, had them once once 911 was called and they were on the way I had them call my mom and uh, my mom was on the speakerphone the entire time uh, I didn't get to talk to her very much because I was too busy talking to the EMTs uh, whenever the firefighters got there they were able to put a neck brace around my neck and uh, we waited for the ambulance to get there once uh, it's uh, slightly hazy, but around this time there was probably quite a bit of adrenaline going on, quite a bit of uh, bravado on my part, trying to keep calm and keep cool. We were able to get into the uh, ambulance. Once uh, in the ambulance, uh, me and the paramedic, we had some conversations. It, I remember it being slightly funny conversations. I like to keep it lighthearted when I'm stressed out, and uh, I figured it'd be a good way to keep my mind off of it. Uh, once we got to the uh, hospital, I still had no feeling in the bottom, below, below the neck. Although I do believe I started to get feeling in my left and right arm, but they uh, once I got into the hospital, it was an extremely busy night. I guess everyone decided to be stupid on Friday night. Um, they pulled me into the uh, ICU and there I waited to get a, a x-rayed. Once uh, I remember being left alone and I remember a doctor, a man named Dr. Chris was there and me and him had quite a fun time cracking some jokes. I can't actually remember any of the jokes that were said or else I would share them now. I'm sure they would have been quite a laugh. Um, they got me into the uh, x-rays and uh, they put me through one of those, what is it, like a CAT scan or something? CT scan. CT scan, that's what it is. CT scan. Um, they put me through and about this time I was starting to regain feeling in my left and right arms but uh, still had no feeling below the waist. Um, they, they got me back into the uh, into a waiting room pretty much that they, they, they just basically stick you in there once you get out of the ambulance waiting for you to go into a uh, um, so I was in a waiting room pretty much and uh, I was stuck there for quite a while with no one no one there. I believe they were all helping other people and just just milling about and making sure other people were fine, which I completely understand, but I was in that room for quite a while with with no feeling and it uh, 
was a bit scary. They uh, eventually came back and uh, they 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 came back and they brought my mom this time, so I was actually able to see a familiar face. Uh, that was quite relieving. That helped a lot. I, I still was keeping up the the charm and the bravado, so she wasn't too scared either. I, I didn't want anyone to be worried about me. That was the main concern I had. Is I just wanted everyone to not be too worried about me and I wanted to help them out as best I could. Uh, whenever we got to, um, they eventually pulled me out of there and brought me into a, uh, the room that I'm in right now, which is a nice little ICU room with uh, lots of great nurses. Every single one has been all-star nurses. They all helped me in several different ways. and uh, But that first night, whenever I was in here alone with uh, my mom, I, I did I did begin to break down a little bit. I did it did get really scary, and I start started to let it show that I was I was very scared, and uh, I, I I didn't know what the future held anymore. I didn't know if I was just gonna be useless or not useless or what 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 was going to happen to me i uh, i knew for a fact that i had a lot of people to help me i knew my mom was there i knew my dad was right outside i knew i could call any of my family members and they would help me but it was it was it was still really scary to to think that i might be uh, just not able to do any of the things i used to love to do anymore and i Tell you the truth, right now I still don't. I've, uh, but um, so that night I didn't get much sleep. It was a lot of. Uh, this was about 3 a.m. I guess I should give a time frame. It was about 12 to 1 whenever I broke my neck in the pool, and it was about 3 a.m. By the time I got into the uh, ICU room, and. Um, Visiting hours were 5 a.m., so I, they were able to sneak my mom in, but uh, my dad was still outside, and I was waiting for him. So between 3 and 5, it really was just a lot of me sitting there waiting. Um, after that, I uh, once my dad got in here, it, it was still, uh, still quite traumatized at the time. I was still quite unsure of anything, and I was... I was so tired by that point. Uh, all the everything was starting to go away, and I was just quite tired. I remember closing my eyes for hours on end, just trying to get some sleep, and nothing was happening. I just couldn't fall asleep for anything. I I was starting to regain some feeling and some limbs, but um. By this point, my left leg was starting to hurt tremendously, and my left arm was starting to hurt tremendously. Nurses gave me some drugs, and you know the good thing about the drugs is they really help with the pain, but they they definitely don't help with your attitude. They just they shot me down another ten points. I was I was quite quite in the hole emotionally once I had those and. Uh, Eventually, I, I I remember I eventually got some sleep, but um, they had me scheduled for surgery. The next day, they uh, they had a, they told me they were going to take out an entire uh, piece of my spine there, and uh, so whenever that came around, they they did the, the, my 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 spine was broken, and it was um, pushing on my spinal cord and causing uh, irritation and unstabilized the spinal cord so they had to take out vertebrae and replace it with a, they call it a cage it was a uh, basically it's a metal cage in there filled with uh, bone graft and all that and they uh, fused it together so my I won't be able to move my neck as much as I used to be able to but it was uh, Definitely worth it because once I got out of that, uh, the pain really started going away. I started 
feeling more of my body a lot more and um that that brought us into uh i suppose day one surgery was day one um, but after that i was i was zonked out for the rest of the day i couldn't i couldn't stay awake for nothing about every hour i would fall asleep for about an hour and then i would wake up and get a couple bites of something to eat and fall asleep again and that that was that was still probably extremely depressing for me because I don't know what I was expecting from the surgery, but some part of me was hoping that it would magically just everything would be better afterwards, I suppose, or everything would feel better. And I feared that if it didn't, then it was a sure sign of it's not going to get better. I'm going to have to live with how I am. But um, by the end of the day, once once some drugs started to wear off and it came into nighttime, I was, uh, I was able to kind of lay in my bed and just relax and I had I had some great nurses come by and talk to me and help me feel better and I was able to get a lot of sleep and by the next day with that rest and I was I was I was ready to go and get some physical therapy in and thank goodness that just because of them replacing the spinal cord piece and stabilizing the spinal cord um it was I was good to go for physical therapy right off the bat. I could I could I could start. I started today, which was day two, and um, they uh, they had me sit up, which I had not sat up yet before, and I thought I was gonna vomit. It was it was quite the it was quite the challenge, but uh, I was able to do it. I was able to sit up, and uh, they got my legs off the bed and had me sit there and. I was able to sit up a little bit, but not for long. They uh, they gave me quite a bit of help, so I probably would not have been able to do it by myself. But uh, I was still I was still proud I was able to do that, and everyone seemed to be pretty impressed that I was able to do the things that I've been doing on day two. Uh, so that's all been plus. Everything's been looking as good as it can be in terms of uh, the injury I sustained. Uh, so they had me sit up for about five minutes felt like probably 30 to me because it was it was extremely hard and then uh, they had me stand up but the problem is is I still can't feel my left leg well I can feel it like but I can't move it worth anything so they had me stand up I was able to lean on my right leg quite a bit my but I was able to stand for about 10 seconds before I had to sit back down again and uh, from that point on, the physical therapy was mostly done besides them doing some, uh, just some, some exercises with my arms that I've been routinely doing. Show us one of those exercises. Uh, this one will get a laugh out of you. It's always hit myself in the head with it. So what you gotta do is you gotta raise your arm up slowly, but ah, just like that. I can't quite bring it down just yet. This guy, see, I'll, I'll demonstrate how you're supposed to do it. Raise arm and lower it back down. Very simple stuff, but definitely harder than it looks when you're in my position. Then you then you grab with the your fingers like this. Ah, see, this one's rough too, but uh, hey, yesterday I couldn't do anything with this hand. Now I can uh, hold a water cup with it or type on the keyboard just barely. So, uh... This guy right here, not so much though. He he's pretty worthless right now. The right leg, he's ready to go. He's probably my best limb. Um, left leg, not so much. He doesn't seem to want to do anything yet. And you know, um, I haven't really been able to get a straight answer out of any one of us. See if uh, my left leg ever will do anything again. So it's still a. Uh, it's still an up in the air situation, and it's still uh, still something to be scared about. I remember this morning I uh, got breakfast, and uh, I just wanted to see what I could do, and I was able to grab onto a muffin with my right hand and chew it and put it back down. But I grabbed a fork and I tried to get my eggs, but I I, I couldn't do it, and that was. That was hard to do. To just not be able to do something as simple as 
feed myself was it's hard but um, I'm getting better I'm getting better and I have a lot of people at my back here um, so it's, it's it's good to talk to people and hear people's voices about it I'll, 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 I'll work hard for you guys and so you guys don't have to do much for me that's that's the goal at least of the And it's 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 been it's been good talking to um, the churches and knowing that I have an entire community behind me. Um, prayer has been good. And I know that uh, everything happens for a reason, and uh, that's that's why I've been able to hold on as well as I have been. Cause no matter what happens from this, I know that. There's going to be something down the line that this needed to happen, or I can help someone with this happened, or um, I can just be a stronger person after the end of this. But uh, it's about uh, 8 p.m. now on day two, and I'm ready to go for the next day. I'm ready to get some more physical therapy in. I'm ready to get a good night's rest and hopefully be better tomorrow. So, uh, I'll go ahead and close it out there, but uh, I just want to thank everyone who has been texting me or calling me or texting my parents or helping me out in any way, and I want to thank Kevin for coming up with this vlog idea. It seems like a good idea to talk about it and just uh, let some feelings out. So I'm going to go ahead and end it there.